If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. The Receive Money window, formerly called the Receipts window, is used to enter cash sales and deposits without invoices. It is also used to apply payments to customer invoices. When you select a customer ID in the Receive Money window, all the customer's unpaid invoices appear. You can enter payments for the entire amount due or partial payments. You can also apply credit memos and prepayments to invoices in this window too. To open the Receive Money window in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, Receive Money from the menu bar. When you do this the first time, a smaller window opens and prompts you to select a cash account to use for these receipts. Select the account to use from the drop-down of Cash Account Choices and then click the OK button to view the Receive Money window. To enter a new receipt if needed, click the New button in the Windows toolbar. If you chose to assign the Deposit Ticket ID in the Receive Money window, meaning In Receipts, when you set the Customer Defaults, then the Deposit Ticket ID field appears at the top of this screen. Whatever code you enter into the Deposit Ticket ID field is used to group the amount received with any other received amounts that share the same code when you go to select Deposits in the Account Reconciliation screen. If you chose to use the Select for Deposit window to assign Deposit Ticket ID values, then this field does not appear in the Receive Money window. Next, select either the Customer ID or Vendor ID choice from the drop-down field of the same name, and then select the specific Customer ID or possibly Vendor ID from the drop-down to the right of the first drop-down. To enter a receipt for a customer who is not in your customer list, leave this field blank and instead type the customer name as you want it to appear on the receipt into the name field. Also note that one reason you can select a vendor ID in the Receive Money window is to deposit a vendor refund into a selected cash account. You can enter a reference code for the transaction into the check slash reference number field. You often enter the check number used if the customer pays by check. You can, however, type any code you want into this field. You enter the receipt number into the receipt number field if you are not printing the form. Otherwise, leave it blank to assign the receipt number when printing. Then enter the date the payment was received into the date field or assign the date by using the dropdown. Then set the payment method used from the payment method dropdown. If needed, select the GL Cash Account to which the receipt will be posted from the Cash Account field. If you process credit cards through Sage 50, you can click the Process button to open a window into which you can enter the customer's credit card information. Alternatively, you can click the Record button to record a credit card payment without actually processing the payment in Sage 50. The balance of the selected cash account appears in the Cash Account Balance field. If it says Uncalculated in the Cash Account Balance field, click the Recalculate button, which looks like the dollar sign, to the right of that field to display the correct total balance. At the bottom of the Receive Money window, you select the Apply to Revenues tab to enter items purchased that are not associated with any outstanding invoices. When a customer without open invoices is selected, this tab automatically comes forward over the other tab. Customer deposits made in advance, meaning prepayments, can be taken on this tab by checking the Prepayment checkbox. You select the Apply to Invoices tab to receive payments against open customer invoices. This tab automatically appears when you select customers that have one or more open invoices. On this tab, the invoice, the due date, and the amount due appear. You can enter a description for each invoice in the description field if desired. If the customer qualifies for a discount, that amount appears here too. You can change it if needed. 
You can also enter the amount paid on the invoice for partial payments you receive, or you can just check the Pay checkbox to take the full amount due. Note that if you selected a vendor ID on a receipt, then the Apply to Vendor Account tab appears at the bottom of this window instead. This tab lets you record vendor refund amounts. When finished entering your customer receipt or vendor refund, then simply click the Save button in this Windows toolbar to save it. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.